Hi guys, uh, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial, and today we're going to show you how to uh, create a skull face. A face with a skull in it. And uh, this is what you're going to find. This is what you're going to make. A lovely skull face. Um, yeah guys, this is Halloween. Hope you have a good time on Sunday. And uh, yeah, let's begin the tutorial. Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be showing you how to do this uh, tutorial on... Uh, making a skull face and today we're going to be using uh, this image here and the skull image and this is Charlie Theron a very beautiful actress who played in Hancock and uh, some other junk she's in a music video I forget the name of anywho this is uh, the second time I'm doing this video because the first time my audacity decides to crash when I press stop I knew I should have uh, done something about that but uh, I'm um, yeah that's annoying, so, uh, alright, here it goes. So on this image, uh, my skull and my uh, face are facing the opposite way. So a quick recapitulation of this, I'm going to select everything that's uh, not the face, because that's easiest, or anything I don't want to flip even, with my quick selection tool up here. W on your keyboard, the CS5, I think you have it in the CS5, I don't know. If you haven't got it, then, uh, just the mm, magnetic list tool just quickly, very roughly, you don't need to make too much fuss over it. Uh, and you press Control Shift and I. Now that's going to invert the selection. So this can be see here, you've inverted the selection. Right, now what we're going to do is going to... We're going to press Layer. New Layer, Layer via Copy. Uh, press Control T for free, free, free Transform. Oh my god, I need to slow down a bit. Right, free transform, flip horizontally, and uh, here we have our image. Yeah, it's better slowing down. Slowing down, going with the flow. Right, next up, we're going to get our skull JPEG, JPEG, and we're going to drag it into here, free transform it down. Okay. Press enter, quick selection tool, and boom. Look how easy that was. You gotta love quick selection. And now we can see it's facing the right way. And by facing the right way, I mean there's you can see the left side of the face on this one, just so you can see the left side of the face on this one. Right, so free transform that up. And we're gonna rotate that around a bit. Uh, we're not moving the center point. We don't want to really move the center point. So it doesn't make much difference if you do. Control T, and we're going to press warp. So we're going to warp, warp the face into a wrap around our face a bit more, but it doesn't really matter because uh, you're not going to really. See see uh, the skull as such, well you see what I mean, well you've probably seen, yeah, you've seen already, you're going to see what's going to happen, we don't really need it to be perfect, it's just that, you know, the more realistic it looks, the better our end result is. Okay, so, what we're going to do is going to press Alt, and click between layer 2 and layer 1, and this is going to create a clipping mask. Next up we're going to go to layer, uh, look, layer mask and hide all so layer layer mask hide all and it's going to get rid of our skull face our bye bye skull face and we're going to uh, paint with a white paintbrush the uh, into the face so uh, let's do this and that's I'm get okay I for this I use a low opacity and uh, just blends in the face a little bit better with the uh, the um, picture. Okay, so if we're just gonna go around that slowly, 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 and I'm gonna take it a bit in from here. Damn my audacity for breaking on me. 
and we're gonna get rid of her eyebrow and this effect works best around the eyes and whatnot uh, well, it just does and uh, it's probably a bit too much around there but uh, obviously you play about with it you're you're the boss And uh, actually, I've done. I've probably done that a little bit. Haven't been subtle enough with that. So I'm just gonna use my black paintbrush and paint over it with a low opacity. Because I I don't like I like well colors. I'm usually like bold colors and whatnot. But uh, for most effects, the more subtle it is for me the better I pulled off the effect and so I don't want um you know obviously this is about as subtle as a machine gun in a very tiny room but uh so I'm not sure where I got that analogy from but uh anyway 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 uh yeah subtle for me is best and uh, I think I'm gonna fix the top of her face a bit very slightly. I want that to blend in a bit better. And uh, I think we're done with the skull face. So, but we're now, uh, yeah, what now I'm going to do is um, going to paint with a gradient tool the black. And this is my cheap, quick way of creating a. Yeah, it's just cheap. Well, it's not, well it doesn't cost me anything to do the other ones, but. Uh, by cheap I mean it's quick, it's cheap and cheerful, if it had a price, which it doesn't. But you get my flow, my flow. So that's a very quick way, we just use a gradient tool to mask out the back of her face, and to bring emphasis onto her, well, face. Um, yeah, so what I want to do now, is I'm going to create another adjustment layer. And for this one I'm going to go to the levels. So I'm going to make a layer, a new layer levels adjustment layer. Try and say that well, drunk. Um, and we bring that up a bit. And that's made her look tan. But the reason why I've done this is that I'm now going to go to my hue saturation. And when I bring this down, she retains some of the colour in her face. Uh, and what I'm doing here is this, you can see, is two colours. Uh, the face and the skull. Here it's grey on a scuff. So what I want to do is I want to move this adjustment layer ever so slightly so that her skull, her face and her skull, uh, the skull blend into one. And I think uh, that's about right. So minus 24 for this one. Um, right, now what? I now want to uh, keep her eyes as nice as possible. I'm going to go to a, a brush tool, paint in black on her eye, on her eye, and um, I think I'm going to uh, color dodge her eye just to bring that out just a little bit more. And obviously, this is the picture off the internet, so it's pixelated as hell, but uh, for what we're doing, you know, get. Get a picture of your mum, your sister, your dad, your brother, your, your mate, your dog. I don't know. Anything you can just muck about with. And let's bring out her eye a bit. And she looks pretty upset. Poor Charlie's. And what we're going to do, this is the final adjustment. Ah. And we're going to paint with a... Oh, not subtle enough. 100%. And a big white blob. And thank you for watching, that's the, uh, no, sorry, kidding. Uh, filter, blur, Gaussian blur on that new layer. And that's just going to, uh, one highlight of Facebook and make this, um, black edge less harsh. So now, properly, <laughs> I think, uh, that's good, finished, and hopefully my audacity doesn't break. Thank you for watching.
Um, yeah, if you liked it, uh, give us a thumbs up. Um, hope you guys have a good Halloween, and uh, see you next time. Bye.